that in Bangladesh, a new country, it's just 50 years since independence, most of the uh, workers are first generation workers straight from agricultural background and most of the employers are also first generation employers, manufacturers. And Bangladesh, the biggest sector right now is the garment sector. And this is a, a sector that has employed a very large number of uh, female workers, mostly coming from the villages. And where they had a freer life, no timetable, nothing. Uh, in mind, they would go and work in the field whenever they felt like, plus or minus. But here, it's a rigid environment in which they have to work. And for the employers, who are also first generation employers, for them also, uh, 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 there are many things they have to learn so that they too can uh, contribute uh, uh, towards the well being of the workforce, and in turn, they too will benefit. This is something they will have to be. Uh, this, this message will have to be propagated properly to each one uh, of the group. Unless we do this, uh, 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 this lack of communication or understanding uh, would probably lead to less than the desired result. This is something that we are uh, uh, always advocating, that let there be a productive communication, let, let them understand what each wants and work on a common uh, platform that okay this is what you we expect from you and this is what uh, you should uh, expect from the employers because uh, as I said first generation from both sides employers and employee has a lot of shortcomings a lot of uh, 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 development needs to be done mindset plus the working conditions but uh, improving a lot of the uh, workforce is absolutely essential, especially since we are about to graduate to uh, a developing nation. A lot is expected. We have only a few years left. I think we can do it.